Hey guys, Fox here with another video. Today, I have something pretty cool to show you. This is the five foot long, lengthwise, um, animated John Doe by Techie Design. This one is the Party City vari variant, as seen by the box right there. Uh, which is kind of weird, because when I ordered this, when I ordered this one off of Amazon and not off of uh, Party City, I thought I was getting the uh, the bloodied J. Marcus version, um, which is not what I wanted. <coughs> Pardon my coughing. I have a little bit of allergies right now, but unlike the uh, J. Marcus, or unlike the, the Party City one, the J. Marcus one was cheaper, um, like nineteen dollars cheaper, or uh, so I thought it was the J. Marcus one. Um, you guys didn't know there is. I believe four versions of John Doe. Um, there is a bloody one, a bloody one with light up eyes, um, a plain one and a plain one with light up eyes. I have the plain one with light up eyes as seen on the box. Though in the demo his eyes will not be on because I simply just do not like the light up eyes. Uh, which is why I kind of went for the bloody one but I didn't like the bloody one either. Um, you know. I just felt that like with the these are meant like these cloths that are on top of bodies are meant to kind of uh, <clears throat> conceal blood. In fact, they're completely blood proof. Blood can't bleed through it. <clears throat> so when I saw one that had blood on, it, I was like, "Well, that's that's not even correct." Um. So as I mentioned. This game was cheaper than Party Cities, or how much Party City was selling them for. Party Silly, City, Party Silly, yeah, you say yeah, Party Silly. Party City was selling this guy originally for, uh, like, about $100. And I swear to God, this phone will not stay popped up. It is driving me insane. It was doing just fine earlier, now it's, like, being really stubborn. So you keep seeing it moving. It just wants to fall for whatever reason. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Nope, it's still trying to fall. Whatever. Um, the party center was a flat, like, 100 I mean, it wasn't exactly about with shipping. It would be about $100. This one on Amazon was, like, 80 bucks, And then with shipping, it was, like, $81. I was like, sweet deal, you know. Now, am I mad at the Party City one? Absolutely not. Uh, I wanted the Party City one, but I also wanted to save money. Um, so this is an absolute steal. And it, the funny thing is... It wasn't even being sold by Party City. It was being sold by a different company, but it shipped from Party City. It is so funny. I find that really humorous that it wasn't branded under Party City, but it came from Party City, which is not a complaint for me. I am very happy that I got this. Um, so, before I want to get into the actual demo, I want to talk about the pros and cons of this guy. Um, it has quite a few pros, actually. For one... If you want something with really easy assembly, this thing comes with like what four, three, four parts. Like this is as easy as assembly gets with an animatronic. Uh, though it is techy and techy stuff is pretty simple, um, which is awesome, amazing, great. Um, it's a few features that none of my animatronics have. For one, this has a timer on it. If you turn it on. And you just don't set it off. You keep it in a really quiet environment. It will automatically go off once every probably five, three to five minutes. Not a long wait. Um, I did experiment with that. Um, it also has a neat little feature um, where it can be compatible with another techie prop. Um, which it does have a little bit of story about that little cable, that jack. If you have it and you know about it, it's a little jack that you can plug something into it and it'll set it off. And I can't really say what it was, but John Doe was originally going to have a animatronic. Well, it wasn't. Yeah, had a prop going with it to set it off, which was never released. I can't say what it was. If you know what it is, don't say what it was. I thought I'd just at least say that John Doe, there was going to be more to John Doe than what there was. And in my opinion, it, if you have an animatronic, right, that's supposed to have multiple components, 
but you don't release one of those components, you might as well not release the whole prop. Now, I believe, I believe this the one with the multiple components was originally going to be the spirit one. Um, I don't know. I don't even know which one came out first. Whichever one came out first, which I think was the spirit one, which was the bloody one with the light up eyes, but I don't remember. I'm not personally like a humongous spirit Halloween buff. Like, I don't know every last little tiny detail about it. I know a lot, but like when it comes to stuff like this, yeah, I couldn't tell you which came first. I'm assuming spirits came first. Spirit always starts trends. If we're going to be honest here with animatronic companies. Or at least they get trends. But I, I don't even know. <clears throat> um, I mean, yeah, there's that. Um, so he has a tire mode. He, he's, he can be compatible with the... Um, there's two, just two props Techie has. They're boxes. You press both, they set up the animatronic. Um, one with convulsing nurse, one came with death row. They are compatible. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm sorry. They are compatible with John Doe, which is pretty cool. Um, also, you notice John Doe does come with, to with a toe tag. Mine fell off. I have no idea where it went. My dogs probably ate it. They eat everything that exists. One of them's like staring at me through the crack of the door because he knows he probably ate it. Um, not a problem. When he's going to my fourth theme, um, uh, he doesn't really need his toe tag anyway. Um, just like to say I filled it out and personalized it and everything, and now it's gone. I see you over there. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's get on with his demo. <laughs> So yeah, that was John Doe. Uh, I like this. Uh, he is still on, so he might randomly go off. So maybe they'll demonstrate, oh hi, there's my hand right there. Maybe they'll demonstrate his uh, timer function. Hopefully it doesn't go off, hopefully it does, I don't know. But um, I like this guy. I should also mention that he is battery operated. Uh, he does come with a six volt two have DC adapter, which he does not come with. Um, it's popping some batteries in him. Uh, so yeah, that's John Doe, everybody. Um, would I personally recommend this? Yes. I would wholeheartedly recommend this animatronic. It is a very nice prop. It's a very um, subtle scare. It's not over the top, um, which I really like. Um, I just mentioned that his sensor is a sound sensor. But even though it's his sound timer or foot pad activated, um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty, pretty neat. Um, it's very simple. I like the simplicity of it. He'll look great in my theme. And I like how he has a timer. Sometimes things don't go off at all. He will probably set a lot of things off because he's pretty dang loud. Um, so anyway, that's my review now for John Doe. Leave a comment down below if you want to know anything about the cinematronic. Um, oh, yep, there we go. Oh, so it goes on for every one and a half minutes. Leave a comment down below if you want to know anything or anything about the cinematronic um, other than his little secret compatible companion. I can't say anything about that for legal reasons and for privacy reasons. I thought I'd kind of share that little fact that probably nobody knows. Uh, so yeah. I hope you guys have a great day. I am literally yelling because that's how loud this dude is. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.